Okay, had a chance to work on your kitchen based on the measurements provided. And you can see this is the refrigerator wall. You have a closet here. <coughs> and then the countertop goes into the next room. with an overhang. So basically there's a half wall here that's 34 and, uh, 34 and a half inches tall, the same height as a kitchen cabinet. And the countertop runs into the next room through this pass-through. I've got a couple of base cabinets. These base cabinets could have roll-out trays in them. That would make life a lot easier for you to get things in and out. And then there's a drawer on top, a working drawer. Then I always like to put a panel, give the refrigerator a built-in look. You might not have that today. but uh, And then put a cabinet above the refrigerator. And you can see some crown molding too. I don't know the height or your seal of your ceilings. Uh, your plan didn't show the height of the ceiling, and it didn't show any window. I could put cabinetry here if there isn't a window. But I have the dishwasher up against the wall next to a filler. Maybe the dishwasher's to the right of the sink. But either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, it can be either to the right or the left because the dishwasher steals the plumbing from the sink. And I'm assuming the sink is here. You've got, uh, I put a 15-inch uh, wide cabinet here. It could be an 18-wide cabinet too, but a uh, 15 or an 18-wide cabinet can except a pull-out trash, if you like the idea of having a pull-out trash next to your sink. Most folks do. And then you'd have a working drawer on top. A 15-inch cabinet can do a single pull-out trash, an 18-inch cabinet can do a double pull-out trash. And this would be another good cabinet to have roll-out trays next to the stove. Working drawer at top. Again, you can see the crown molding, wall cabinets. Over the range microwave. These are 30 inch uppers. But you might be able to do taller uppers depending on the ceiling height that you have. And this is another 18 inch wide cabinet with a drawer. You could put roll out trays in this as well if you wanted to. Otherwise, it would have a half depth shelf. So that's what that looks like. Just to show you the floor plan, and the measurements I've been using, you can see I've got the sink wall at 140 and 7 eighths. And I don't know if you have a wall here or not today. So maybe that can be verified. And then this measurement here is not so critical, but I have it at 98 and a quarter. That's the depth of the room. And I've got the pass through at 66 and three quarters, and then the length of the wall from here to here at 99 and three quarters. So, like I said, the other critical measurement would be your ceiling height. <coughs> and if you're getting new appliances, I wouldn't mind knowing what your appliances are. But I've got enough room. I've got a 33 wide uh, cabinet over the refrigerator. So that gives you uh, enough space for a very common 33 or 30 wide, probably a 30 wide refrigerator. Now, I'm not a big fan of putting a refrigerator up against a wall because when you swing this door open, you swing this door this way, 
it's going to hit the wall. Most refrigerators want to open past 90 degrees uh, in order to get the drawers inside the refrigerator open or pulled out all the way. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you have any questions or if you think this is close enough for me to est uh, throw an estimate, estimate for you, then I can do that. Or if you want to make some subtle tweaks, we can do that too. And uh, then we'll have uh, a more accurate estimate for you.